this is a man's world But we won't quit, this is a man's world She who dares wins Hello and welcome to another episode of this is a man's world and how to survive in a man's world. As you can see, I've become more confident since my last video of how to be more confident. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna sit down now. Uh, today's episode is all gonna be about getting what you want from life. Ooh, deep. A lot of things have changed for me over the last year. Yep, since that, um, pregnancy thing yeah and I had a baby uh, I've been a mom for a year oh yikes um, yeah it's been one hell of a ride yeah it's been one hell of a ride it's been sleepless like a year without sleep that's actually a thing yeah it's horrible um, and yeah things have changed and there are certain things now for both my career and my personal life that I want um, and I want to achieve and I'm not sure how I'm going to get there but I'm going to use experiences from my past to move forward. So how am I going to get what I want? First of all, we've got to start. Yes, that's right. You have to start with a single step. Um, I've gone back to work three days a week and that leaves one extra day for me to do things for This Is A Man's World and I have this grand plan um, for This Is A Man's World you know there's the t-shirt stuff which is coming along really slowly it's coming I promise you um, and then I have this community that I'm so stoked to be stoked did I just say stoked I said stoked so happy to be part of all these other women in construction all over the world I'm starting to do public speaking that's pretty cool got invited to a couple of events this year um, and then putting out more content more useful content and podcast so I have all these things that I want to do and it's like how do I get there and I don't know sometimes I question myself because I'm like am I doing too much and then I start to worry about finances because you know I have to engineer in order to be able to do this stuff because it doesn't pay but I want effectively at some point me to be able to earn a living by doing this stuff and maybe doing a little bit of engineering and whilst I'm doing the video stuff it doesn't pay so then I have to be thinking well I need to be thinking about my next engineering job and it's just like yeah some days it's really hard and it kind of has this, I have this like cloud over me that's just like Ugh, Michelle what are you doing like how are you gonna get where you want to be um, and I was in this position about five years ago when I started, I had a little bit of break from engineering and I started a business with my brother and we had no idea what we were doing. Um, it was uh, producing plumbing chemicals and after about 12 months we had an established business. Things didn't work out in the long run, uh, that's a whole other video, but what's interesting is I'm now looking back at that period of my life and realizing I achieved so much during that 12 months and you know everything that I think I want to do in the future is possible, but I just need to make a start. Um, and that's one of the important things is make a start. Uh, secondly, don't put too many boundaries up. Yeah, it's so easy to be like, oh, I can't do that because of this. I mean, I've already explained that at the start of this video, or, you know, I'm worried about this. As soon as you start putting boundaries up, then you're not going to achieve anything so just try and break down boundaries and just you know just have a go um, and think why not what's the worst that can happen be uber positive I know this is a hard one because sometimes you have a real shitty day at work and you just think what is the point like I think what is the point of me sharing my story like who cares um, and then I'll get a message from someone saying oh it's amazing that you work in construction you really inspired me and then I'm like oh okay so that's the positive. So like focus really hard on the positives and there'll be positives, you just need to find them. Move at your own pace, oh my God. So many times I've been like scrolling through Instagram and I'm like, oh my God, this person's doing so much. They're doing like a podcast, they're doing this, they're doing public speaking here, they're doing that, they're doing this. They're helping these people, they're saving the world. The reality is they're not. Like it's Instagram, it's not real. Um, obviously mine's real, but other people's aren't. 
Um, yeah, so no, like externally, like get some blinkers on and just, ooh, like those horses, well, the Shire horses. I wish I could be a Shire horse because then I'd just always be looking forward. I haven't even had a coffee and I'm like this. This is insane. So focus, look forward. Be confident. It's so easy when you're going into new areas of like work or things that you want to do. And like trying to find that confidence is really important. Like I've not done a huge amount of public speaking. And whilst I'm excited about it, I'm not massively confident with it. So I'm doing a load of prep work, but I'm trying to teach myself how to be confident. And I think that's gonna help me. I'll get better and better, and maybe that'll lead to more work. Who knows? And finally, don't judge yourself. Oh, again, this is easier said than done, but sometimes I get really frustrated with things that I haven't done rather than looking at things that I have done. So I'm like, oh, you know what, I've not, um, done X amount of public speaking this year and I've not put out a podcast and I've not done you know a video every day but then I look at things I say well you know I have produced video content I've done some really important speaking at events I've connected with loads of people uh, jobs are good and I'm only human and finally I guess balance like <sighs> man they say women balance everything and juggle things like being a mom yeah um balance sometimes is hard it's probably one of the hardest things to nail on the head um i have a really supportive husband um who does a lot of the cooking and cleaning yeah um we share sometimes but he does a lot and he's uber supportive of uh, all the work that i'm doing externally to engineering so fine that's another one yeah hell let's throw that in find your support group um you need people around you that encourage you. If there's someone out there that's not encouraging you to get where you want to be, then tell them to do one. Like, get out of here. You don't need those people in your life. Positivity breeds positivity. And there'll be someone out there that's like supportive of what you want to do. Doesn't matter how crazy it is. You want to be in a band, do it. Like I decided last week, I want to learn how to drive a motorcycle. My husband's like, you're crazy, but yeah, go ahead and do it. That's empowering, yeah empowering to women um get your Beyonce group get your destiny child around you and pfft, no limits mm -hmm. okay I think I really need to end this video here so how to get where you want to be hopefully my brain fart which is now this video is gonna help you guys get where you want to be oh my god feel like this is one massive convoluted blob uh <laughs> hope it's not thanks for listening guys uh thanks for tuning in for this week's episode of how to survive a man's world click that subscribe button and i'll be back real soon